Tonight, we are dressing like this to honor Mr. Claude Francois. He's there, the prince of pop, and the king of the kitsch, and one of the worst dressed men in the French history. It was Claude Francois, and not Paul Inca, who wrote, I did it my way. Later made famous by Frank Sinatra, and of course, the great Sid Vicious. But he also wrote some of the silliest disco dance songs ever recorded. And that's what we are here to celebrate tonight. Claude Francois is an institution in France, like Tom Jones or Cliff Richard on your own country. The only difference is Claude Francois is dead, so you must not know. Our very own Jean-Paul Gaultier introduces us here to his favorite musician, Yvette Horner, France's most loved accordion player. Okay. Yvette is probably best known in France for her performances in the Tour de France. For 11 years, she cheered on her battling bicycle boys by playing her accordion in the lead car. For 16 years, Claude was an idol. I mean, he let us women dream. For 16 years, he made us happy. He was our life. And so, Euro Trash viewers, we ask you to sit back, take a deep breath, and experience the magic that was Claude Francois. <laughs> Claude Francois was a philosophy student who one day took off his thinking cap, put on his dancing shoes, and became a pop star at the age of 21. For 16 years, he dominated the French charts, selling more than the Beatles, until 1978, when he was mysteriously electrocuted while taking a bath. His fans were shocked and hysterical scenes at his funeral confirmed his status as a national hero. Nicknamed Clo Clo, he performed with some of the world's biggest stars. Here he goes swinging with the young Jodie Foster. The lush mountains and verdant meadows of Bavaria are home to this Japanese gentleman, Takeo Ishii. His doting wife and child bid him a cheery goodbye as he sets off for a hard day's work at the local beer keller. Now, just watch what happens when he whips off his kimono. Takeo from Tokyo is the first ever Japanese yodeler. I learned all my yodeling from records and from other bits that I'd heard. And later on, I even bought an alpine horn. Yodeling is part of nature. It belongs to the mountains and the beautiful countryside. Even as a small child, I dreamed of walking in the mountains. Yodeling's a very healthy form of music. Boy George is another long-time Yvette Horner fan. We both have a love of music and a love of camp and a love of style. Um, I mean, I admire Yvette's spirit, you know. Boy George is very good-looking and charming, and of course he has a very lovely voice. Eurotrash decided the only thing to do was to bring these two camp icons together, throw in a few French musicians and see what comes out the other side. Summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping and the cotton is high Your dad is rich And your mama's good looking So hush, little baby Don't you cry 
After summer time, it was party time, and Yvette had baked a lovely cake which was supposed to look like Boy George, but actually looks more like Georgie Porgy. Who will cut your face? Me. Yourself? <laughs> We're going to go on tour. No. As a um, culture clash. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the locals talk to me. One person who does still talk to him is his childhood idol and yodeling superstar, Maria Helvig, who discovered Takeo 20 years ago, yodeling in a bar. Well, he's so talented and so versatile. Not only can he sing, but he can also do animal noises. <laughs> Another Eurotrash exclusive, the Bavarian chicken dance. <laughs> but what is it that makes a successful yodeler? In the leather was unseen. Right. Most important is to wear the lederhosen. You can wear them for three or four years without having to wash them. In fact, you're supposed to make them dirty by rubbing in grease and bacon bits and all sorts of other stuff into them, which makes them look really awful. But that, of course, is the point. <laughs> Clo-Clo rarely wrapped his tonsils around a good tune without his backing dancers, the Clodettes. Claude loved the American show Soul Train, and the Clodettes were inspired by its funkadelic dancers. This is Prishka, one of the original Clodettes, who is now passing on Clo-Clo's dancing secrets to a new generation of female fans, dubbed the Clodinettes. Their sweatshirts read, I love Claude. In fact, they love him so much, there's a waiting list of up to six months to join the class. I tried to teach them what Claude taught me, you know. I mean, he really used to pull his hair out, trying to teach me to loosen up and be more sexy. But it's funny, I find the same problem with these girls. Little sort of memories like that, they, they keep coming back while I'm teaching them. It's really weird that way. Yes, who cares if the Beatles may be reforming? The original Claudettes are back. They've recorded a new album featuring their interpretation of Cloco's greatest hit. I really think that the Claudettes were an integral part of Claude Francois's appeal. I mean, it might sound a bit pretentious, but I believe that the public wouldn't want to see Claude without his Claudettes. I mean, we were a bit undressed, but, you know, we were very sexy. 